Hello YouTube, it all comes down to this. It is the final race of the Coke Vanilla season, and we start with qualifying for the Aaron's 499, and conveniently enough, it is the Aaron's Ford that will go out on track first. Uh, not much to talk about in terms of the owner's points for this. I will say this. As we go and as I record this, the top 30 in owner's points, which was the important thing heading towards next season, as we look towards um, the 50 car field that we'll have and people being locked in, the top 30 in owner's points is set. There can be no changes to it this week based on the point differentials. Um, because top 30 and owner's points are locked in, all that good stuff. So Jeff James, he is one of the top 30. They come into this race 26 in the points. I do not know if they can improve that or not. Um, but if they can, they certainly would like to because what's still on the line is wherever you're positioning inside of that top 30 and owner's points might be able to help you towards... It, it will help you towards um, making Daytona because Daytona is still going to work on the old-fashioned rather than the top 30. Jessica Shelton in her final ride in the Petty 43 for this season. We'll have to make it in on speed. They are not locked in. They cannot make the top 30, um, like I said. Um, so Shelton and the 43 team, they come in 41st in the owner's points. It's been a very trying year for this team. They did have the win at Michigan, though, so that was always good and going to look to try and make the race and end on a high note here. Ben Newworth cannot win the owner's title. This car cannot and or this car cannot win the owner's title. He cannot win drivers eliminated in both. But they are looking to finish as high as they can as problems for the 43 in practice. They lost power, so that's going to be a tough break. Um, New Earth, though, 11th in the owner's points as this team tries to look ahead towards next season where they will have Stephen Paul III driving this 23 car. Kyle Matthews in a car that is locked in but does not know its fate for next season. 21st in the owner's points as they will race. And Kyle Matthews look, uh, looking for some momentum heading into the 48 car. Matthew Mariah Matthew Marias in car 19 currently ninth on the speed chart 5809 and they are not top 40 or 42 in the owners points let alone top 30 so they will have to make it in on speed we'll have to follow their progress and see how that goes Troy King will race they're currently 17th in the uh, on the speed chart they did get eliminated they are 13th in the owners points coming into this so they will not be fighting it out they were in the final or the round of eight for the owners chase but regardless didn't work out as well so it is what it is and now they will try and end the year on the high notes still unsure of their fate but if they find a ride they are locked into the uh, races two and three next season Jim Casella in the Hall of Fame Racing 96 are, is outside the top 30 in owner's points coming in. Currently 16th on the speed chart. Going to move up a little bit. Up to 7th now in the DLP Chevy. Axel Casella in his final ride with the 80 and Stan Hoover's final appearance in the series. At least for the time being. I do not know if they'll be in a future season. They are not back, though, for next season. 17th on the speed chart, 19th in the owner's points coming into this one. Henry Sanfer currently finds himself third quickest at a 47.74. And this car is 10th in the owner's points, so the best they can do is 5th. Going to look for trying to get to that 5th spot. That 5th spot is important because it guarantees that owner's point slot a spot in the Daytona 500 next season if they can get it, so going to be important. Meanwhile, Stephen Paul III, he's fourth quickest right now. This car is still in the final four for the owner's chase, so they will be locked. This, Well, this car number 
whether or not the points stay on this car or not, will be locked in to the Daytona 500 and races two and three next season. So right now we're hearing reports from them they would like to switch those points over to the 07 though. Amy Shelley in the owner's chase and one of the four in the driver's chase as you can see by the red paint scheme still. Currently ninth on the speed charts at a 47.77 and this car number one in the owner's points after uh, last week but unfortunately due to the fact that even though they won they will come into this race tied with everyone because of the rules that were set. Jake Baskinger, the Boniva Chevy, uh, 23rd quickest and 31st in the owner's points, 214 points back of 30th. That is why they cannot make it, and that is why no one outside the top 30 can actually move their way in in this race weekend. Dylan Young, 24th quickest, and they are 9th in the owner's points coming in. A very fitting scheme to bring to this track, in all honesty. But they will race, and it's just a matter of trying to get as high up in the owner's points ahead of next season for this team as Dylan Young will move over to the 24 car. Cosmic Nova, 14th quickest right now, 47.78. They are not even top 42 in the owner's points coming in, so that is what it is as Amy Shelley jumps up to the top of the board. Tom Shelley is fourth quickest right now, and this car is one of the final four for the owner's chase. Kind of interesting thing, the owner's chase has two cars that are not contending for the driver's chase in it, so we have six cars to follow. Um, that's the good news, at least. So, Tom Shelley, the um, victory gang, I think that's what it is, the charity ride scheme is, I believe what that is. Uh, they are going to be one of the four contending it out for the owner's title. And this car, with Tom Shelley behind the wheel next year, will be locked into the first three races. Mary Shelley, currently 17th quickest, will move up a little bit. Up to 6th now. Will not be contending for the owner's chase, or the owner's title, or the driver's title, as Mary Shelley's title defense came to an end last week. Uh, currently 7th in the owner's points coming in, but still with a shot to possibly finish 5th, I believe. I believe they have a shot, so we'll have to see how that can go. Ashley Brock is currently third quickest to Smirnoff Ice Car. And with falling to the DNQ race last week, they fell out of the top 43 in the owner's points. So that was unfortunate for them. But looking for a good thing if they can make the race here at least. Allie Nelson currently second quickest. And they moved up a spot, actually. Moved up two spots. Nelson moved up to 28th in the owner's points last week with the uh, good run. And eliminated any chance of Jake Bassinger being able to make the top 30. So, it is what it is. One less fight thing that we have to worry about. We had a wreck on the back straightaway. I'm looking to see if I couldn't see who would have been. Guess we're not going to be able to figure out. Will Lewis, though, on the front straightaway right now, 14th quickest, and his um, this car comes into the race 32nd the owner's points after back-to-back -back D and Qs. Um, just not much you can really say there. It's just been a rough go of things right now. So there's the skid marks. I just don't know who would have spun out there. Jay Stella, the U.S. Army car, currently 19th quickest and not top 42 in the owner's points, so I don't know where they're at coming in. But Jay Stella going to look for some momentum heading into next season, possibly. Preston Plored with a car number that it's unclear what they're going to do with it right now. Still looking for a driver for next season, but 18th in the owner's points guarantees a spot in races 2 and 3 um, rumor around the garage area was that they would like to transfer those points over to the four car next season. Um, granted, a lot of things up in the air about that. So, I believe we talked about Kyle Matthews, actually. Either way, there's his car on track. 
Jonathan Zorlein, the GMAC Chevy with a few brake duct openings on the car this week there. Tw currently 12th quickest though. Ryan behind Tristan Wilhoit though. And this car has struggled all year. It will be piloted by Seth Cole once again next season looking for a return to uh, somewhat relevance, I guess. It's, just, it's been a trying year for Zorline, unfortunately. Looking for better things next season and whatever ride he's able to come across. Eric and Rage, you see the red scheme. He is one of the final four contenders and drivers. And the car is third in the owner's points, so they will be contending for the owner's title as well as Tom Shelley went up to the top of the board. I think that happened a little bit ago, but I just got around to talking about that. Either way, Eric and Rage going to be one of the four drivers we will be focusing on in the race come Sunday. Matt Dixon, the Lone Star Dodge, currently the slowest car in this session, 49-24. 40th in the owner's points for car 40. Hiroshi Kazuyoshi, currently ninth quickest, and they hold that 30th spot in the points. Granted, not really. They can't fall any worse than that, but they are going to look to try and at least improve that and be better off next season. This car not planning to return, so right now that whatever they do with the points up in the air probably would go to another Chevy team. We'll see. The 66 of Sam Curtis, the according to Jim Chevy, 23rd in the owner's points. And they've had a spectacular chase since we introduced the top 30 rule. Been able to run really well. They got an extra win, making it three wins on the season for this team, which I'd have to check might be a tie for the record, I believe. I don't think anyone's won four. But I don't recall. I remember people have won three races in the season, so... To have that happen this season, a great job for Sam Curtis, just inconsistent when it came to stuff. Currently the second slowest in this session. Alex Hawkins, the Haas Chevrolet. Currently 20th in this uh, session and not top 42 in the owner's points entering the race. Henry Powers is currently 16th. They are 16th in the owner's points as well. Uh, after the reseed of the eliminated drivers, they fell all the way to the worst. So they, at 5,000 plus whatever they've earned in the chase, Henry Powers has actually done the worst, but yet he did make the final eight. So it is what it is. It just shows how bad that last round was, though, for him, too. So, And that is actually it. So let's go ahead and now I will go ahead and just be quiet for a little bit.
And that is it. Henry Sanford will be the quickest of the session, followed by one of the chasers, Amy Shelley, Tom Shelley, Ali Nelson, Ashley Brock, top five, Jake Bassinger, Stephen Paul the third, Jay Stella, Kyle Matthews, and Mary Shelley. Meaning there are three chase are three go go home cars in that top ten. We'll have to see how well that other group can do as there we go. Drivers to worry about in terms of their speed are going to end up being Matt Dixon, Jim Casella, Cosmic Nova, Alex Hawkins, and Jessica Shelton. Um, out of this group, at least. Will Hoyt, Zorline, I'd be worried about as well. And probably... Will Lewis, I think, will be the borderline. He's going to have to sweat towards the end of it, I think. But I think Will Lewis should be safe. Based on how few of this, but... And how equal um, Super Speedway is for us. So, with that, we'll take a short commercial break and we'll be right back for group number two. And we are back for group number two. And Dylan Casella will be the first car out for this group. One of the Gurga home cars. Um, been a very troublesome year for Dylan Casella. Uh, but they've come on strong here towards the end. I think they've made three straight races now um, as we come into the finale. So even though this team as its current thing is not going to return, the 06 team not returning for Roush, uh, they will return for Penske but have to pick up new owner's points even if this car was top 30. So... Either way, Dylan Casella looking for some momentum as he heads into next season, possibly. Alex Perkle also bringing a very fitting scheme this week. The Bass Pro Shops all-black car. Kind of funny how the 1 and the 8 bring that same paint scheme to the exact track it ran in real life. Uh, Perkle, 22nd in the owner's points with car number 1. Um, would have been 20th if we didn't have the owner's chase, so... Either way, Perkle going to look for a strong run as they look towards next season. Not sure where Perkle's uh, destination for the 2007 season will be, whether or not it'll be full-time or not. So, let's see. We do know where Jean Sanford has landed for next season. Uh, she will be swi switching teams as she puts the top time on the board. Fifth in the owner's points this season for Car 55, but Jean Sanford will not be running full-time despite what was a very good year and currently fifth in the points coming in gonna run the part-time effort for the wood brothers and jtg racing in the 47 car next season chris washer one of the title contenders for the driver's chase this car has been eliminated in the owner's chase though sixth in the owner's points coming in as chris washer gonna look for a good starting spot to try and win his first career Coke Vanilla Cup Series title. Actually, his first title in one of my series, too. Zach Kreller currently on track in the Six Flag Chevrolet. Has to make it in on speed. Um, as time's still getting set pretty good. At least the competitive times. Up to fourth now, 49.75. They are 36 in the owner's points, having quite a bit of momentum coming off a top five finish at Belton's Arena. For whatever reason, he really got a handle that track. Mason Powers is currently 16th in car 16 on this course. Uh, not top 42 in the owner's points. They will have to make it in on speed. Momo Akari just getting up to speed in the Miller Lite Dodge. The more faded one, I think, this week. Uh, they will race 25th in the owner's points as they had a pretty rough chase, in all honesty. Coming off a solid run, though. Top 15 at Velton's Arena. Have to see how well they can do. Kenny Bale currently just getting up to speed, though. This will be his first competitive lap. 48-35 up to 7th right now in this group. The FedEx Freight Chevy that will be piloted by James Qualls next season. Going to have to make it on speed this race and next season as well. Bram Patterson currently P6, I believe. The intention is that he really wants to return to Roush, despite what was a tough year for him. 35th in the owner's points right now. 
with this car 17. But we'll have to see what happens there with Brian Patterson. Less cars next season would mean more likely to be able to make the races, not have as bad of a year in terms of that. Robert Pollard, currently 20th, 49 even, with a 4 there. Uh, 21st right now, and CGM Racing comes into this race 34th in the owner's points. Not quite sure... Oh, that's right, because they're tied. 72 and the 17 are tied coming into the season, but I gave the tie to the 72 because of uh, the top fives that the car has had. So that is the reason why there. That's why I was looking confused at that. Uh, Seth Cole, currently 24th quickest, but leading a three-car pack right now. The Bioshock Dodge, dead last in the owner's points coming in. DJ Curtis, currently 24th quickest at 49 or 48.69, his lap of record. Will Race, 27th in the owner's points, coming in for MB2 Motorsports. Sam Young piloting that car next season, so DJ Curtis in his final ride with this team. Um, Going to look for some momentum hanging into next season, trying to find a ride as well for 2007. Daniel Day, currently 8th quickest, also trying to find a ride for uh, next season, as this car is not going to... Um, be returning. The Haviland Ford for Yates Racing is top 30 in the owner's points. It's kind of funny that Yates had three cars top 30 in the owner's points, but they're only going to return two cars next season. So, as Ish Taylor goes to the top of the board, 47-3. Great lap for them. We'll have to see what Daniel Day can come up with. A two-time All-Star Race winner in the series. Mason Neal, who was an early leader of the practice boards of this group, 17th right now, 4791. 20th in the owner's points for car number 12 as Amy Shelley returns to familiar colors next season in this ride. So Mason Neal going to look to try and move this car maybe up to eight, uh, 19th or 18th, I think. I don't know what's possible for this team. It's kind of widespread at that part of the table. Um, but Mason Neal going to look for uh, some momentum, maybe tr still trying to look for a ride for next season. Dylan Thoreau, same boat, 19th right now, but the problem for them, this car is 39th in the owner's points, so they're going to have to make it on speed this race and looking ahead to next season. So we'll have to see what Dylan Thoreau can do and if he can pick up that speed because 47.93, not going to be good enough, I believe, to make the race. Max Newworth, the Lucas Oil Chevy, is currently 8th quickest in this group. 47-19, the lap of record. Max Newworth made the race last weekend. Steven was happy about that because he didn't have the scheme that they ran last week. But looking like Newworth might be able to make another one. Let's see. Some good momentum for this team at the end of the year. Charles Jackson, the... UAW Daimler Chrysler uh, Dodge, currently 14th quickest, as they have been eliminated from owner's title contention. They're currently 12th now after the reseed of the eliminated drivers. Um, but they will race. Charles Jackson will return to this team next season, so they're going to look to try and move up that table a little bit and try and improve their positioning for the Daytona 500 qualifying next season. Sam Young, currently 5th quickest in this group, 33rd in the owner's points after back-to-back -back DNQs. We mentioned in group number 1, right now the plan would be to have them move the owner's points to this car as he goes top of the board. Sam Young, what a move. Former Daytona 500 champion, trying to prove some more super speedway prowess right now, and he's doing well, getting a good time, good slipstream off that 32 car to be able to take the top spot in this group as the one in the 55 as well in the 99 the four cars who were pulling up to these guys ended up taking the top four times that one lap sam young i uh, thought he maybe was deciding enough was enough there because of how high up the track gene sanford was sky commons currently leading this pack is sixth quickest in the vaveling dodge uh, now down to 7th as Max Newworth jumps up to 3rd. Car number 4. Great lap for Max Newworth. 
Uh, Sky Commons locked into the 17th spot in the owner's points right now with this car. I believe that's where, about where he's at in driver's points, too. Because um, I want to say he's the highest in points that did not make the chase. Either way, for Sky Commons, though, um, just looking for some momentum, looking for a ride for next season. You'll hear me say that about a lot of the people as signups have yet to happen and will happen after the time of this recording and the time of this upload, too. Theo Stagall, currently the uh, 28th and slowest car of this group, the Moen Chevrolet. Not in contention for the owner's title, but is 8th in the owner's points right now. Trying to get up to 5th in the owner's points. I do not know how much that is possible for him. Chris Louvier, the Hot Hughes Chevy, is currently 27th quickest in this group. So, not looking good for Louvier to make the race, either. Two wins on the season. The positive, the downside, so, so many D&Q appearances. Steve Pollard, the Cat Daddy Chevrolet. Eighth quickest right now, and 14th in the owner's points after the reseed. Um, basically meaning after the eliminated drivers got put in there. Steve Pollard looking for one more solid effort right now. Not sure if he'll be a full-time driver next season or not. So just trying to look to... Still looking for that ride and looking for what will show up is basically what's going on there. Ish Taylor showing speed once again in the Ganassi Dodge. Apparently whenever they brought the Rick Ware car, that was the problem. They just need to go to this car. The Havilene Dodge currently 6th quickest right now for Ish Taylor. Granted, it is the super speed, which, which helps, too. Um, 42nd in the owner's points come in after a solid top 5 there last weekend at Velton's Arena. Just kept it out of trouble basically all day and was there at the end when it mattered. Kyle Collins brought the super speedway car. Currently 10th quickest, so it's working. 15th in the owner's points for the Tide Chevrolet. They will not be, this team will not be returning next season, so they're still looking for what to do with their points for this season. It does guarantee a spot into races two and three, so. William Duncan currently 27th on the speed charts the, in the ride that will be piloted by Kyle Matthews next season. So right now that time's going to have to come up, or have to improve, I should say. Robert Pollard currently 24th quickest now, as I've already talked about them. Ash Curtis currently 9th quickest of former winner this season, and they did what they've done well on the play tracks. That's been about their best track on being able to make, which doesn't surprise me one bit. Um, ninth right now on the speed charts, and this car's not top 42 in the owners points, which right now they don't really care too much about it. They're just wanting to look ahead to next season and try and find a driver to run their part-time schedule for them. Eric Powers, the Toys for Tots Ford, currently 11th. And right now, uh, the plan from the team that we're hearing around the garage area was that they want to transfer the points from the 90 over to this car should they find the driver for next season, which would guarantee this car a spot in races 2 and 3. Not so much for the 500, but 500 would look pretty good for them to be able to make at least. And just ahead of them, the final of our title contenders that we'll talk about, Levi McIntyre with the most wins on the season out of people in the driver's chase at two. Um, but that doesn't matter coming into this round. There is no advantage for wins. He comes in tied with the other three. And so there's your four. Chris Washer, Levi McIntyre, Eric and Rage, and Amy Shelley. The four for the owner's title all came out group number one. Amy Shelley, or the 89 Faith Motorsports, 33 and 29 for RCR, and the 45 Petty Enterprises for uh, Dodge. I almost said Ford. I'm jumping ahead of myself a couple years.
well, this is going to be a little anticlimactic. Well, that's going to do it. I Alex Perkle sets the quickest lap of this session. Sam Young, Max Newerth, Levi McIntyre, Gene Sanford, Ish Taylor, Sky Commons, Kyle Collins, Steve Pollard, and Ash Curtis, the top ten. With there being only, only four Dorgo Homers in the top ten out of this group. Uh, five in the top 11 and six in the top 13. Seven in top 14, actually. So, that will do it for qualifying here. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'll see you next time as here comes the starting grid for the Aaron's 499 at Talladega.